my name's Charlie and welcome to my channel and welcome to my weekly reads. Um, how are you guys? Let me know in the comments below. Have you had a good week? What have you been up to? We got, start the good old natter in the comments. Um, my week has been kind of stressful being honest. There's been some family stuff going on which obviously this is what happens sometimes. Some weeks you get weeks that are kind of like good and some weeks are a little bit more difficult. I'll talk about all that stuff and um, afterwards but first of all I'll crack on with the books that I've actually been reading. So um, the first book I actually finished was Cursed Bread by Sophie McIntosh. Now this was kind of like sold to me seemingly about this village about the, um, like a quiet village that where people are kind of being been poisoned by the bread I think something like that. That's I thought it was kind of a bit more of a mystery um, but um, so this book is not that though. So um, it's predominantly about these super unlikable characters. We follow Elodie, who is a baker's wife, and she kind of gets into this like, not like relationship, but there's like, like a really, like a kind of other character called Violet, Violet, and um, she's married to, the, yeah, she's the, an ambassador's wife. Um, and then basically it's like the toxicity that sort of goes on between these characters. And it's, yeah, a more unlikable characters basically, and I found like it was just really, really slow. And being honest with you, this was just like from the off. As soon as I like started, like within a few pages, I could tell the writing style was just not for me. I don't know what it was, but it just didn't. It just didn't click, and I felt really, really bored by it. But I carried on reading it anyway because it's very, 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 very short. And yeah, I just ultimately I felt like this is going to sound really harsh, but I had a new nickname for it, and I called it Boring Bread. That is my feelings on it. I really, this book was not for me. Um, and yeah, I just don't feel like, yeah. And I feel like maybe if it would have been framed differently, if the um, publishers would maybe have said about the plot being slightly different, like advertise the plot differently, maybe I would have felt different about it, but probably not because I just don't think, I just don't think this was, this is not a Charlie book. So. Um, some people have said maybe if it, um, it could be a good book if, if for fans of Eleanor Ferrante, so potentially if you like that. I haven't read any Eleanor Ferrante, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah. This is like the bottom of the pack for me, which I'll explain again by the end of the video. I'll tell, I'll, I'll give you my updated women's prize rankings. Um, not by the end of the video. Well, after I've done my weekly reads, the first thing I'll do is I'll rank all the book, women's prize books that I've read again for you, so you can see where it places. But Spoilers, it's at the bottom. <laughs> um, then um, I finished Bandit Queens, which is a book, by, so this is by Parini Sharav, um, and this is a book I listened to on audio. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine. Hold on a minute, I might shut the door. Hopefully, hopefully that's a little bit better now. <laughs> shut all the doors. So um, yeah, so I, first, so when I spoke, last spoke to you about Bandit Queens, I don't think I was like, fully invested in it but um, I took some more time to like some so I took the next time I listened to it I um, was listening to it in bigger chunks which definitely gave, I got the benefit from and um, this is so obviously in case I know you probably guys all know this is based upon a real story as was Cursed Bread was based upon a real story actually of um, another a, a real life events but yeah this is um, based upon a real life character called Poolan Devi and um, who, who was in India this is something I didn't know about this time last week women were um, killing and um, their abusive husbands I think this is correct <laughs> this is both but this is what the story is based on and um, so and it's this real life lady who um, and there is I'm um, speaking of it so I found out there's a graphic memoir that is on script um, which I'll put on screen <laughs> that I really want to read because it gives you more it gives you the whole backstory of Poole and Devi's life so and it's told by Claire Favell edited or drawn by Claire Favell and um, so yeah I definitely want to I, the actual book itself I felt like the pace after I like I was like I said I was more invested in it um, uh, the pacing was better. I felt like the character I, I got gelled more with the characters. It really has some really hard hitting elements to it. Obviously, it's talking about abuse. Um, it's also talking about female friendship. And um, there's also a very cute dog in it called Bandit, um, who at the beginning I was really concerned for, but there is no like need to worry about that. Like Bandit was okay by the end of the book. Um, 
yeah, I loved, I just love this book. It's really, really, it was really, really good. It's still not going to be, I don't feel like it's like an all time favourite favourite, maybe because of the fact that I took a little while to get into it. Um, but yeah, it is one I would reread and it is a book that I would check out more work by the author. So yeah, not completely perfect because I do feel may, like maybe the pacing, there was a little bit of pacing issues possibly for me, for me personally. Um, but yeah, worthwhile and it talks about hard hitting important subjects, obviously. So yeah, one I would recommend. Um, so right, then, um, uh, so next I'll get on to what I'm currently reading. Now, what I'm currently reading shows you where my headspace has been because I'm currently in the middle of, or not necessarily the middle, but I'm currently reading six books, which I, uh, I'm not the kind of person that does this. I normally read one audiobook and one physical book and possibly like a non-fiction, possibly, even though I'm not actually reading any non-fiction currently. But yeah, so um, it kind of shows you where my head has been at, like obviously. Uh, I'll start with, I'll show you what I'm, bu I'm budgie reading, um, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, Planet by Becky Chambers with my sister Emily from Novel Novels. Check out her channel below. She's lovely and sweet and lovely. Um, and this is a sci-fi sort of queer sci-fi sort of story set in space, obviously. And uh, obviously, but I know loads of you guys will know about this. Um, and this is not a book that's in my usual comfort zone. And I'm only like quite early doors into it. I'm actually a little bit behind on the buddy read. Sorry, Emily. Um, and yeah, I'm so I'm about 79 pages in. It's a bit wacky. There's these, all these characters in space, and it's like this kind of like an adventure story, and it's just like. I feel like it's quite easy reading but anything I'm reading at the moment I'm struggling with kind of so I'm not like a hundred percent in this like it's still not like I know um like this is like Gemma well, Gemma, one of Gemma's books his favorite books and I think there's quite a few people that I know that are also reading this so da um da so Danny's reading this um from Danny's book world and also I think Alice had just bought this from Alice and the Giant Bookshop so I'll link both of their channels as well as Gems obviously down below and um, and um, um, so yeah so <laughs> but yeah I like this but I'm not like 100% loving it but that's probably because where my brain is at I'm sure maybe once I read a few more pages maybe I'll be like yeah um, and then I am reading also we I'm carrying on my 100 pages a day 100 pages a day, 100 pages a week, Royally Doris. I still haven't actually read this week's 100 pages. So um, I haven't actually read any more since I last spoke to you about this, but this is what I'm going to read today, read my chunk. And um, also a side note um, from in, uh, so obviously this book is for the Literary Dor Doris Along, which finishes this month. Next month in April, um, um, me and Charlie have decided that we're going to read an heir to murder, which is his crime novel. It's a cozy crime novel. Charlie is kindly making the book free on Kindle, um, which I'll put the dates on screen um, for when. It's from the 27th um, of March to the 31st of March. It will be completely free to download an heir to murder on Kindle. So if you're interested in reading um, an heir to murder with us in um, April and then discussing it obviously in May, feel free. And um, it's, it's a really, really wonderful, like cozy crime. We follow Alice Valentine and Marmaduke Featherstone. So it's going to be, I, I haven't actually read this one, um, read, I haven't actually read The Nerd to Murder yet, so it'll be my first time reading it, so I'm very, very excited by it. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys join us for that as well. Links, links in the description for all, where to buy all of Charlie's books, obviously, as always. Um, so that's that. Then I'm also currently reading, I read, well, I kind of read like, how much have I read of it? I read like the 30 pages, like a couple of chapters. Um, so um, I just, oh my days. The first, like I said, the first time I, I think I spoke to you about this, um, the first time I tried to read this, I listened to it on audio and I wasn't in the right brain space. This is really the perfect book for now if I actually push aside some of my other books, which, and focus on my, if I was to try and focus on one book, I feel like this would be the one I would want to read because I read the first chapter of this and there's um, characters at the be very, very beginning. There's a section um, in the, there's a section in this that's that's um, entitled 25 Years Earlier. And it's basically these characters, as a, a group of young, I think they're girls, but there's a group of young um, characters 
and they are um, discussing Boyzone and they're like, there's, I think there's like three of them or three or four of them and they're basically arguing over which Boyzone character to marry. They all want to marry Stephen Gately and um, I'll put the quote on screen because it just makes me chuckle. I think it, oh, I see if I can find it. So anyway, it just, it just made me chuckle because it just reminded me of conversations I've had with my own like friends when we were little. Um, there's a group of girls that I'm still friends with today who are like just the loveliest girls and um, we used to always argue over it. Um, argue over which boys and character we were going to marry and I think I used to love it was between Keith and Shane I used to love I did always love Ronan as well but yeah um if you ever loved um boys and did you like boys and when you were younger if so tell me who was your favorite and did you and your friends ever argue over who you wanted to marry the most because that just made me giggle and yeah it just makes me more excited to like get into the plot of this and kind of really sink my teeth into this book because I do love Juno Dawson's, Juno Dawson's writing, so, and I know so many people love and adore this book, so yeah. Right, so that's that. I'm also, three more other books that I'm listening, listening to, I think these are all, oh no, I've got one book on my script, which is Kindred Octa um, by Octavia Butler. This is on my books, of, um, my, like one of my bookish um, goals this year is to read books, um, like by the Diverse Spines books and this is one of them and um the in, i've chosen a graphic novel version of the of the story and um, which obviously is very hard hitting this is a very hard hitting brutal book um but yeah it's on script um and i wanted to check it out and so far i, I feel like I've, I, i'm more than halfway with this now so um and yeah it's a it's a really really good story so very brutal obviously um and comes with loads of trigger warnings um and cont content warnings so obviously and seeing it graphically obviously isn't easy but yeah i'm glad i'm reading it so yeah um i've also got um home six by jennifer croft this is obviously a women's prize book i've only just started this i think i've only like listened to like maybe one or two chapters order of the audio book the kind of narrator kind of gives me and like listening to the very like very very little bits that i have it kind of gives me Elizabeth Strout vibes. Maybe that's just the narration. I don't know whether the story is obviously going to be very different from that. Um, but it's just something about it kind of gives me that kind of like, very like, it's just that kind of feel to the writing from what I've read so far. I, I don't like, so I don't know whether this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing because I have like, I don't know how I have liked Elizabeth Strout's books. But yeah, so yeah. I will tell you next week if I still feel like that once I've listened to more of it. Um, and then also I'm listening to Legends and Lattes, which is the book that everyone was loving last year. Again, a bit more sci-fi, fa fantasy, fantasy, I think this is. And it's LGBT characters set in a cafe, which actually reminds me of a book I finished last week. I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, so yeah, these characters that are working in like a cafe, I think, um, set up, I think the lead character sets up a cafe yeah, and it's it's queer representation. It's it's just comfy, cozy, like wholesome hug of a book kind of thing. And the audio book is narrated by the author, which in this case is a really good thing because he's just telling his story really, really well. So yeah, I'm happy for that. Um, right. Oh yeah. So the book that I, another book that I finished, which reminded me of that, was I actually finished the Moonstruck volume, which I told you about last week. I knew I would. That's just something I tick off, and I enjoyed the you know, I enjoyed the rest of it. It was a very quick read. So yeah, it wasn't my favourite though. I feel like the first volume of Moonstruck is slightly better than the second volume. Um, I don't know if there are any more. I'll have to look. But yeah. Um, in terms of, I've also got two more books on my borrow box to read, which obviously I've got loads going on, so I don't know whether I'll get to them. But I've got um so shrines of gaiety has become available by kate atkinson on audio this is one i requested ages ago because i thought it could be on the women's prize long list but it's obviously not it still could be listed for the booker though so i feel like it might be worth a listen um and i've also got a spell of good things by ayabami adabeo which obviously is one i want to read because it's stay with me by this author is like one of my favorite books i loved that book so much um and again that could be on the booker so I do want to try and read it. I want to try and read a million books. I don't know whether that's going to happen. Right, so that's that. So that's all my reading um, and my colour currently reading. I'll tell you about my, my, um, my, my rankings then of 
where I uh, where I sit with the women's prize books. Do you want to know this every week? Let me know if you do. If you don't, I'll just leave it out next time. In the bottom of the pack, in uh, so I've finished. So I have finished eight of the women's prize books so far now. As a result, in eighth place is Boring Bread, aka Cursed. No, don't say that. In eighth place is Cursed Bread by Sophie McIntosh. As I said, I didn't get on with this so well. Um, obviously, seventh is Glory, but by No Guy at the Bullet Way. Sixth, uh, so sixth is Meant to This by Tara M. Stringfellow. Fifth is I'm a Fan by Sheena Patel. Fourth is The Marriage Portrait, obviously by Maggie O'Farrell. Third is The Bandit Queens. That's where I put The Bandit Queens in third, so that's how much I loved it. And then second, Demon Copperhead, and obviously first is Wandering Souls, which I still love the most. So yeah, um, the Bandit Queens is in has jumped to third place, um, which I'm happy for because it is a good book and I think so far it's one I would want to be shortlisted. So yeah, and um, Gemma Books has done a brilliant book review on this, so I'll link that down below um, if you want to check that out because she just recently put that out. So um, definitely check out her review. Right, um, I also forgot to say, um, if any of you guys are from the UK. So this is like, I need to like insert this before the end. Yeah. Um, I've got three books that I was, that I was, that I be, that will be giving, that I might be doing a giveaway for if you guys are interested. And um, are any of you guys interested? If you are in the UK and you would like a copy of Glory by No Violet by the way, um, Night Crawling by Leila Motley. This is a signed edition and also it has a Waterstones exclusive sprayed edges. Um, or Memphis by Tara M. Stringfellow. I think this is also signed. I'm fairly certain. Yes, it is. Maybe it's another signed edition, and it's got these gorgeous, gorgeous M papers. Um, so if if you're in the UK and you are interested in having a copy of this book, if there's more than one of you, I'll put your names into a random generator. Let me know, and I will. And if, as long as you're prepared to obviously send me your address, maybe potentially on social media. And um, let me know your, or you can private message me or email me your address. Let me know in the comments below. Um, because I really, it's nice, nice to give back to you guys. Obviously, I will try and do at some point soon an international giveaway. Um, and I'll do like some secret code words for that because I'll do it. I want to get to the people that actually, I want to give do a giveaway for the people that actually properly watch my videos. It's the same as this really. So yeah, if you want a copy of, you want one, my copy of things because I don't, I don't need these anymore I've read them and I want to pass them on this one has got like a little bit of a dent in it like it's not this is just how it was sent to me so not because I'd done anything funny to it so if you want this one bear that in mind but the rest of them they're all, they're all in really good condition so yeah if you want one if <laughs> let me know in the comments say uh, about it and then yeah. this weekend we have got the next so as you you'll probably this will be, maybe go live. I'll put this up at eight on Sunday morning. So it'll be literally two hours later will be the live show. The li There's a live show. The next plod along will be on Gemma's channel of Gemma Books um, at 10 a.m. BST because the clocks are changing in the UK. Um, and it's with, uh, we've got a guest star this week, which is Scott from Gunpowder Fiction and Plot and possibly Nell if she joins us as well. It's going to be really loads of fun, loads of nattering, loads of like, I can imagine with Scott there and potentially Nell, it's going to just be so much like hilarious. So yeah, if you want to join us, please do. Um, and if like you're watching this after that, I will put the link for that video in the description. There's also a playlist that I've got and at which I'll link in the description as well. So yeah, I hope as many of you, uh, as many of you as possible can join us because we always have so much fun on the plod alongs with you guys. We love reading um, like with you and doing the reading plods and then just nattering to you about all the books and it's just it's the best time so if you if you haven't joined one of our plods so far and you want to come along honestly we have the best time we have a good old chat with the, the, the guest at the beginning and then we get into like some reading plods and just nattering away with you guys yeah so you need you need to be joining us if you um because it's the place to be so yeah right um that's that that's that tick in um, also on Sunday, it's my mum's birthday as you watch this. So we're, after I've done um, the reading plods, I'm going to go out for lunch with my family, which will be really lovely um, to celebrate her birthday. 
so that'll be really nice have a nice meal um especially because like I said it's been a difficult week but that's fine so um then um in terms of the week ahead we've also I've got a very exciting um week coming up um as you see the, like see this um on the Thursday there's a certain booktubers special book launch which I'm so so excited that I've been invited to tea so um there's a bunch of us going to London and we're all going to have a, like a big booktube meetup as well and so I'll probably be spending loads of money on, <laughs> on a lot of books and then also obviously celebrating um with the, uh, the lovely author so which I'm sure loads of you will guess who that is because there's only there's a, there's a one certain booktuber whose book is coming out on Thursday and I, you know who that is so um yeah but I can't wait to like go and meet everybody um in real life so yeah very very excited touching wood that nothing happens to like change it but yeah all the wood <laughs> yeah that'll be very exciting in London this Thursday so yeah um and then I'll, I'll try I'll try and vlog because I really want to be better at vlogging obviously I don't want to shove a camera in every single person's face and I'm sure probably I won't be the only one vlogging as well so there might be multiple but we'll, we'll see we'll see how we go um at the very least you'll get a bookshop and maybe some some I'll insert some photos next Sunday um but yeah it's nice to have something good and exciting to look forward to like that because it's not like something like that happens every day so um yeah let me know what you've been up to let me know what your plans are for next week um don't forget to join us on the plod along to um as like just after you watch this if or you if you have you already have you already joined us let me know and um, take care and send you guys lots of love goodbye <laughs>